there anything that you uh, find helps in like a bedtime routine before you go to George goes to sleep? So I know you've got your daughter as well, Grace as well, and they're quite close in age. Yeah. So do you have anything that works? We try moment? to. We turn the lights down, um, try and turn off any screen time, any or TVs, iPads, yeah. um, and then I get him. I get him sort of into his pajamas, um, and then I take him into. Um, his bedroom, mm -hmm. and that's where we um, sort of like I, I turn I turn the noise down. I've got my sleep spray, it has a nice calming yeah. calming smell. Great. I play white noise, and it's pretty much been like that mm -hmm. since he was about four months old. Since okay. he's um, been in his big boy cot. So since you've been four months, you've had that lovely routine yes. kind of. Yes. Since we hit the four month regression. Okay. And I thought yes, we need to do some. Okay. We need we need some routine here. Okay. So yeah, we do we do try and stick stick to it. Okay. And you do you do that sort of most evenings apart every, from the odd every occasions. night unless we're okay. out every night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You tend to find that works for both of them. Oh, hundred percent. Um, he's asleep within ten minutes, okay. so he's he's more than ready. He's more than ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And what about in the daytime? Do you, does he spend any time in that? bedroom at all or does he play no. in there at all? To be fair, no he doesn't. He um, he sleeps in his push chair on a walk or he sleeps on me whilst feeding. Mm -hmm. um, so actually you know, he doesn't actually nap for that long. Um, so I'm starting to cap his naps to make him more tired at night. Um, so no, he, uh, he doesn't really spend any time awake in the day in his okay. cot. Yeah. So maybe that might be something that you could consider in being familiar in that room. Yes, so that was yes. something yeah. that you could try in playing in that room. Not necessarily in the cup, but just having toys out in the room and being a bit more familiar in that room. Yes, um, yeah. Might understand that. George's world and his perspective on um, being in that room at just night time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That might help a little bit. Um. We try and stick to it. We had a routine with Grace where we tried to take her to bed, our older daughter, um, at about seven o'clock every night. But we found when we t take her up, she'd lie in her cot, try and get up, she'd be chatting away, whatever, and she wasn't tired. Mm -hmm. So we found that, right, let her kind of dictate her bedtime to us. So now she just stays down here with us until she tells us she's tired. Um, and then we take her up and she's gone within five, ten minutes. So it's made sleep a lot less stressful okay. with our older daughter because okay. she and she's very much in charge and she's very strong-willed anyway. So, yeah. so she likes yeah. that. So that's good. Um, and we found milk with Fran um, pumps into a into a bottle and then we give her that and that always soothes her and she knows that that's when she's going to go to bed. Okay. Um, with George, it's more so when he starts moaning a lot. It, it usually kicks in around five p.m. Glitching out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> between five and six, we sort of know it's coming. Yeah. Unless we're out and about and he's a bit more preoccupied, when he's in the house, you can sort of tell a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, and then it's just like, well, can we keep him up a bit longer? Can we play with him a bit more? Can I just hold him for 20 minutes? Because he likes being in your arms. Yeah. Um, so we just see how far we can get because we know that that might allow a bit more sleep if he stays up a bit longer. Yes. Yeah. But uh, with George, it's a bit more. Yeah, it's tougher to tell. With Grace, we're in a pretty good routine, I'd say. Yeah, yeah so it's like, turn TV off, her little iPad goes away, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And yeah. then, she... we tried to do story, but that's a bit hit and miss. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then, yeah, and then we just do pyjamas, milk, mm -hmm. um, and, but yeah, we, we now let Grace tell us, otherwise, mm -hmm. it's a bit more of a battle, so we've, I've taken, we've taken the battle aspect out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we let her tell us when she's tired. That's good. So, okay. And do you guys, how do you two sleep? Do you sleep well, obviously, before you had children? Was it really Yeah, to I'm you used or? to it now. Yeah. So it is like, I heard Fran saying she hasn't mm -hmm. had more than like three hour stints. There might have been the odd time, but it's yeah. been a long time for you. Yeah. For me, I'm in with Grace a bit more. So, and I'm generally going to bed around eight o'clock when Grace goes up about half seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, even though I want my evening a little bit, I know that if I go to bed at like 10 o'clock and we have a bad night mm -hmm. and Fran needs, and I then try and get up at 5 a.m. if George is kind of right, he's up for the day and let Fran sleep for another three hours or so. So it's sort of just, 
knowing what the night ahead is like, but I'm getting my kind of big stints because Grace is pretty settled. She wakes up once for a for a fee, a bottle, and then she goes straight back off to sleep. Um, it's that broken aspect that makes it harder, and you feel so much more knackered the next day. Yeah. Okay. Especially yeah. for you. Yeah, and if, if I need you to help with George, we then risk waking Grace up as well. Yeah. So I think it's quite hard to implement strategies for George because if we let him cry, or say not let him cry, but if we're not quick enough to soothe him, yeah, we'll try different methods such as say, the, the shushing, the patting, the stroking, which we I have tried, we have tried. Yeah. Um, he then just shrieks louder and then we have Grace waking up upset. And we've got two of them to get back to sleep. Two, two, upset. Um, two upset children. Um, so we sort of just tag team it, don't we? Yeah, the um, best we can, yeah. Don't do as much of that. I know other families do yeah. bar time, yeah. uh, which yeah. helps settle. And we do find that helps sometimes. Sometimes, it will, can, sometimes it can stimulate them too much. I found it's the opposite. So mm -hmm. we don't tend to do bath as part of a routine. Um, there is lots of evidence that when you have a bath, your temperature goes up, you yeah. get quite hot, and then as it comes down, that is what your body does when you go to sleep. The temperature yeah. change actually okay. helps you go off to sleep. And Jesus, it doesn't it? I hear yeah. what you're saying. Some children do get a bit rushed off from the bath. Yeah, she they? sees it as like so. play. I think it works more for George, but mm. for Grace, she hates getting in the bath, so we have a massive screaming fit sometimes, don't we? Yeah. Um, and stuff. Look, she loves it at your parents' house having a bath, but yeah. Yeah. At our house, not so much. Um, but yeah, he enjoys the bath a bit more. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when you feed him at when you breastfeed him at night time. He settles back down again, and you find that yeah, he's... most of the time, most of the time. I think I think feeding is probably the quickest way mm -hmm. um, to send him off to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't always work, and when it doesn't work, I do feel very much out of ideas mm -hmm. because I don't really know. Nothing else really compares to feeding. He seems mm -hmm. so content and happy to feed that our second plan is you tend to rock don't you yeah mm -hmm. so then I rock yeah so this this always works in terms of it quietens him down but we can't do it forever <coughs> so then I try and rock and he'll be asleep in my arms and you try and put him down and then he just like yeah. jumps up okay. yeah. so uh, I can sort of tell when he's really gone to yeah. sleep in my arms and other times he's sort of shifting mm -hmm. and stuff so I know when mm -hmm. but your back starts to hurt a little bit <laughs> after walking so like 10-15 minutes worth of walking and rocking um, you put him down and then he doesn't sleep, you're just like, what more can I do yeah. here? Um, and then we sometimes just resort to coming down here for an hour and then bring him back up. But um, yeah. he doesn't cause a sight, he's, he's not like, he's not a crier. He's a, he doesn't he's a cry at He's a whinger, he's a whinger. <laughs> but he's not a crier. So he doesn't sort of give us that sort of headache. It's the headache of, oh, what are we supposed to do now? So it might be something to think about yeah. the, the world of, you know, George's world of yeah. how it looks when, it's a bit like when you go to a hotel room, you, you know, if you stop in a hotel room, I've never stayed here before, I'm not so sure, you know, mm. is the door locked and all of that. Yeah. It's that kind of environment. Thinking it, about it from George's perspective, he's going into that room just for sleeping. Yes. Mm. If he yeah. saw it as more of a, oh, I play in here, I'm used to being in here, I'm yeah. used to mum or dad leaving the room and leaving me in the cot just to pop to the toilet. You yeah. Know? I'm spending some time in here because I'm sure you perhaps leave him in here a little bit. Sure, yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. And he's quite used to, oh, they come back. But in that room, it might be, you know, that's his bedroom and that's the place where you want him to settle and feel secure and safe. Mm -hmm. So it might be something that you can think about, perhaps having some things like the smell like a view to, perhaps in you yeah. know, nearby, or, you know, trying to see it from, you know, actually it might be worth spending a little bit more time in there and yeah. then just doing perhaps peekaboo around the door, you know, mummy's just going to the toilet, daddy, back in a second. Those sorts of things, as long as he's safe in that room. Mm. Yes, And yeah. you've left him somewhere safe that you can come in and out. So he kind of gets used to that. Just seeing it from his perspective as mm. to what's going on. Definitely. Um, because that might help him just adjust to being in there on his own a little bit more.